To begin the installation process, you must remove the transit bolts on the back of the washing machine. Simply loosen all of the bolts on the rear of the machine using the supplied spanner and remove, replacing them with the supplied plastic bolt caps. When installing the drain hose, the two most common plumbing installations to connect to are either a standpipe or a spigot. On spigot connections, ensure the blanking cap is removed or cut away. To prevent backflow of waste water, use the supplied plastic guide to ensure that the drain hose is positioned correctly. The end of the drain hose must be at least 60 cm above the floor. The appliance must be plumbed into a cold water supply with a 3 quarter inch washing machine connection. Ensure the water supply is turned off before connecting the hose. Connect the inlet hose to the back of the washing machine and then to the water supply using your hand to tighten. Slowly turn on the water supply and check there are no leaks. Now you can plug the machine in. Plug directly into an earthed main socket. Do not use an extension lead or multi-plug. Do not switch on the power just yet. Once you check all of the hoses at the back are secure and in place, you can move the machine into its permanent position. Use a spirit level to check the machine is level and make sure that the feet are firmly on the floor. The machine should not rock or move. If it does, you will need to adjust the feet. To level the appliance, adjust the feet to the correct position by hand and then lock in place with the supplied spanner. Ensure that the dispenser trays and drum are both empty and then turn on the power to the washing machine. Press the power button on the front of the machine. The display will illuminate. It is important to run a calibration before using the machine for the first time. With the drum empty, hold down the delay end and temperature buttons for three seconds. CB should appear on the display, depending on the model. Press start to begin, and the machine will calibrate for two to three minutes. The drum will rotate periodically during this process. A chime will sound on completion, meaning that your machine is successfully calibrated and is ready to use. To ensure optimum performance from your washing machine, it is important to perform the following maintenance steps. The filter should be cleaned every six weeks. Before beginning, ensure you have a shallow dish and a towel to collect the water and clean up any accidental spills. Open the filter cover on the front of the washing machine, either using a coin or firmly pushing the drain filter cover to release, depending on your model. Pull out the emergency drain hose and remove its cap. Water should begin to flow into your dish. If the dish fills with water, replace the cap, empty the dish, and repeat this process until the water stops flowing. Rotate the drain filter counterclockwise and remove from the housing. Clean out any debris that may have gathered, both in the filter and the housing. Once you've rinsed the filter, place it back in the housing and rotate clockwise until tight. Replace the cap on the emergency drain hose and be sure to secure it properly before closing the hatch. If your machine displays a 5C check code, it means it has not drained the water correctly. In the first instance, you should check the drain pump filter and clean as required. Be sure to power off the washing machine at the mains before moving it forward to check the hoses. If you find that cleaning the filter isn't successful, check that the drain hose at the back of the appliance is rooted and installed correctly. Also, check the hoses for blockages or kinks and be sure to check that the spigot is clear if you use one. If your machine displays a 4C check code error message, this indicates it is not filling with water quickly enough and requires attention. This is most commonly caused by low water pressure or flow rate on the inlet mains water supply to the machine, meaning that the water that feeds into the machine is not flowing with enough force. 
the water pressure must be between 0.5 bar and 8 bar. Fully power off your washing machine at the mains and then move it forward to check the hoses. Check the water inlet hose for kinks, damage or any obstructions. Ensure that the stopcock is fully open if your washing machine is plumbed into one. If the water mains inlet hose is free of kinks, damage or any obstructions, check the mesh filter. To check the mesh filter, unscrew the water main inlet hose from the back of the washing machine and remove the filter using grips or tweezers, if required. Ensure the filter is clear of debris, clean if required, and then insert back into the housing. Occasionally, a 4C check code error message may be displayed if a blockage in the dispenser drawer has occurred. Remove the drawer from the housing and check for any obstructions. Clean if required and insert the drawer back into the housing. If the 4C check code persists, contact customer services to further address the issue. When loading the machine, it's important not to overfill it. Each washing machine program has its own maximum weight limit. Further details can be found in the user guide for your washing machine. Even where the program allows for the maximum laundry weight, there should be a hands width between the top of the laundry and the top of the drum. All items should fit easily inside the drum without protruding into the rubber door seal. When closing the door, ensure no items have become trapped between the door glass and the rubber seal. To prevent damage to the drum, the washing machine's advanced software will not permit a full spin if the drum is overloaded or if an unbalanced load is detected. Avoid washing larger, heavier items on their own. Add to a normal load, but ensure the weight limit is not exceeded. Wash items such as bedding on the correct program to ensure optimum washing and spinning results. Always follow the instructions shown on the clothing care labels when selecting the washing machine program and settings. This will ensure the optimum wash performance and longevity of the garments. Laundry loads should be selected based on the colour and fabric mix of the included items. Separate your laundry into whites, colours and lights as directed on the clothing care labels. To prevent accidental damage to the drum or rubber door seal, Items with metallic buttons or studs should be folded inside out when being washed. Please refer to the washing detergent packaging when choosing the correct type and dosage of detergent for your laundry. Using the incorrect dose or type of washing detergent can affect washing performance or even cause damage to your clothing or washing machine. The machine will prompt you to run the EcoDrum Clean program every 40 washes. This is a very simple but important procedure to maintain the high performance and long life of your washing machine. Additionally, use a wet cloth to clean out the door seal when required and ensure the door is left open for 15 minutes after every wash to allow residual moisture to escape from the machine. For optimum performance, the washing machine must be installed on a solid floor. Wood floors may need to be reinforced to minimize vibration. Carpeting and soft tile surfaces are not a good resistance to vibrations and can cause the washing machine to move slightly during the spin cycle. In many cases, abnormal noise is caused by an unleveled washing machine. Thankfully, this is simple to rectify. Just adjust the feet to the correct position by hand and then lock in place with the supplied spanner to balance the machine correctly. Additionally, an unbalanced load that is unevenly loaded or under minimum weight can prevent the drum from spinning or cause the drum to spin in a way that generates excessive or abnormal noise. If the abnormal noise still persists after leveling, contact customer services for assistance. To help keep your washing machine door seal in a good condition and to prevent accidental damage, please follow this guide. 
It is important to empty all pockets on items of clothing when loading the machine. Foreign objects can cause damage to the door seal, door glass, or other components. Common foreign objects include coins, hair clips, and other household items such as screws. The door seal can become damaged by overloading the washing machine or by items becoming trapped when closing the door. The maximum amount of laundry will vary according to the washing program selected. Please consult the user guide for further details.